Hey, it's Elizabeth Brown, the Kitchen Vixen, and it's actually a Sunday morning, but I'll post this probably any day. Well, I thought I would just use up some food that I had left over from a dinner I had two nights ago, which consisted of salmon, veggies, and rice. And then I read online that it is safe to eat cooked salmon up to three days later. I wanna get rid of this today, so I'm gonna make these veggie burgers. And then I have some leftover rice and veggies from yesterday. I'm gonna put that all in my food processor. Well, like half of it. So you have to have like a Cuisinart, I guess you could kind of do some of this by hand, but I want to process the, the large veggies. And then I'm going to add a little bit of um, flour and egg. And my food's already seasoned, so I don't need to really add anything to it. So it's very simple. I think this is going to work. So I have a skillet already heated with some butter from grass-fed cows. So we got a nice little mush going on there. Just mush it one more time. Now I'm just going to add the rest of the rice and the some vegetables and just give it a pulse just to mix it. I'll turn back to medium high. Okay, so just make these mushy little balls that fit. First start with the ball and then you make it into a patty that fits into your hand. And stick it in the skillet. Alright. This is all going to eventually dehydrate, so the egg will make it stick together. And I think we have some nice veggie burgers going on. Hi Chandler. So I normally wouldn't make a video on Sunday. I would probably rest and, and maybe edit some of my videos because I'm kind of behind schedule, but uh, I have a few hours of work to do. And I went to the gym this morning and it was cold. I mean, relatively speaking, because I'm from the East Coast, so it wasn't that cold, but it was windy. And then I just did a really quick leg workout, like front squats, sumo squats, and single leg deadlifts with a kettlebell, and then kettlebell swings. to the gym because I was a little late because I wanted to go to yoga at eight o'clock and then I rode really fast to yoga and there was a big pack of cyclists and so <clears throat> I caught up to them and then I'm like okay I, I can't I was caught up to them and I was like ahead of them and I was like okay I can't let them pass me so I had to sprint for like three blocks on a mountain bike that I think I need air in my tire so <laughs> it was horrible I was dying my legs were screaming by the time I got to yoga and then I Lock my bike up, go inside. Okay, so I have one, two, three, six. I got six veggie burgers. So I go up to the desk and the girl said, oh, the instructor had a flat tire. So they're trying to find a solution. And I'm just like, eh, take it as a sign. I should just go to work. I like this. I actually have never done this before using leftovers. I mean, I actually will often make rice and lentils and then make veggie burgers out of that. This is more like, this isn't veggie because I have some I had a little bit of chicken in my one rice and vegetable mixture and I had salmon in my other one and then I put egg in here. So definitely not vegetarian, but mm -hmm. okay. So definitely, I will definitely need the oven to um, firm this up. So I have my oven set at 450. I think now that I cook during the, each day, I don't have to spend all day Sunday cooking. So. Sundays I'll often just rest or watch movies or read. I need to finish a book for my continuing education credits. Hi Chandler. Poor Chandler was being chased by Fraser and I had the um, cabinet door open and she ran into it. She's okay. I checked her out. Cats are pretty tough. Can't rush the process. Well, at least they're very nutritious. That's all I think about most of the time. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go finish these off in the oven while I get ready for work. I gotta wash my hair today anyway, so I'll be back. I didn't see Arnold today. I wanted to ask him to be on my cooking show, but the gym was really empty. I'll be back. Oh, by the way, I always feel like my stomach looks really big on camera, but look, it's not. 
Okay, so I'm ready to go to work. I got my clean Farrah Fawcett fluffy hair. The feathered look is what works for me, I guess. Because I don't get it cut that often, so it's not even like an intentional cut. But anyway, so my veggie burger, well, my leftover gluten-free everything burgers turned out so-so. Four of them stayed together, three, two of them fell apart but they're still gonna be good. Let's give them a taste. So I decided to also add some of my pickled watermelon rind, which is so delicious. You have to watch my watermelon episode. It's very simple to me. Okay, so as promised, we're gonna use every bit of the watermelon. I'm just gonna add some dill and garlic. Then we add some of the pieces of the watermelon. One and a half teaspoons of sea salt for every cup of water. You wanna add enough water, salt water to cover the solution by an inch. Now see how the watermelon floats to the top. So obviously that means that air is gonna get in there. What we're trying to do is we're creating an anaerobic condition. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna make a lid out of some of the extra watermelon rind. You leave this in the solution and every day you're supposed to open the lid to release the carbon dioxide or else it might explode. I thought that maybe the watermelon juice could be used as some kind of topical agent and what spawned my thought process is Cindy Crawford's touting this cream made from this melon from France that has this enzyme in it. I feel so confident about my little solution here that I even wrote a rap about it. So now I'm off to work to earn some much needed Skrilla. Driving to work for me just ain't a thriller. The LA traffic can seem so amorphous, but during my commute, I gotta keep and check my surface. Before I head out, I put this melon to the test. Rich in lycopene and free radicals will suppress a vitamin E. That oil will cover the rest. Sun damage? Depressed. I imagine you can make it from a lot of things, the same recipe, and so it's, they're so good. Tastes just like pickles. And if you watch my video, you, you'll also learn that you still get lycopene, which is what we get from watermelon and tomatoes and grapefruit and guava and papaya and a lot of things that we don't eat on a normal basis. And watermelon is actually a richer source than tomatoes for lycopene, which is just one of those many antioxidants that helps us fight disease. So there's so many, not to say one is so much better than the other. They all have different benefits for us. So I'm just gonna taste, I'm just gonna take one of my falling apart burgers and just taste it and see how it works. It's still hot. It's good. So it has, um, what do I have in here? I had some snap peas and some, a little bit of potato from my one um, dinner. Uh, some salmon, some chicken, broccoli rob, and a lot of wild rice, brown rice. And I think some quinoa as well. And then one egg. So it's good. And the pickle, watermelon rind. So good. Go for work for a couple hours, taking some tea and an apple. So I've got my day covered as far as food is concerned. So my energy will stay good, right, Axel? One of my many Ralph Lauren cashmere sweaters. This is a black label from eBay. Probably paid thirty dollars for this thing. And I think these things retail for like three, four, or five hundred. I'm not even kidding. My kids' Gucci leggings. So I did pay full price for that, but not nearly as much as the adult version. And some Marc Jacobs clogs which I got from Barney's and now I heard they're going out of business and I always love Barney's and then a Prada secondhand Prada bag from Linda stuff on eBay and this is a knockoff off-white purse strap so I always take even my little shoulder bags and I convert them to crossbody purses because it's just more it makes more sense so that's my fashion tip because I love fashion and this is Elizabeth the kitchen vixen and I will hopefully see you